Sedgwick County leaders consider turning over control of mental health services to a private group, a move they say would eventually save money at the cost of several hundred jobs. And good evening. Thank you for joining us. The Sedgwick County Commission is looking at the possibility of turning over ComCare, which provides mental health services, to a nonprofit entity. The move could eventually save the county money down the road, but on our big story at six, Mike Ewan says the switch could prove costly in other ways. Right now, the county is just examining of leaving ComCare the way it is or letting a nonprofit group take over the operation. ComCare is funded through state, federal, and private grants, but also received over $2.7 million in support from the county. Its 300 plus employees take care of a variety of needs. People like Ron Fuller. I know where I, what road I was on, and I know where it was taking me. And there's just no doubt I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them. About half its services are contracted out for rehab services. Commissioner Tim Norton is against changing ComCare. I also like the idea of us being intimately involved in providing that service. I don't think that's something you can just offload and say, we're taking care of our constituents in a good manner by not having some ultimate control over it. Well, one of the options, if ComCare were turned over to a private contractor with its own employees, then they'd have to lay off 344 county employees. What would that cost? $1,139,000 in severance pay, $636,000 in health care, six pay periods worth of premiums, $769,000 in leave balance or vacation balance. That brings the total to two million. $544,626. Another option would be for all the county employees to go to work for the new nonprofit. All of this is preliminary. There's still a lot of information out there. The county commissioners want more of that information before any decision is made. There's still many hurdles in the way. In downtown Wichita, Mike Ewan, Cake News. And Central County first established a mental health care services clinic in 1961. ComCare is now the second largest mental health care provider in the state behind Johnson County, serving a population base of almost half a million people. But it has more clients than Johnson County, with over 14,000 clients served, compared to Johnson County's 8,000 clients. 